Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Thursday the 16th of July. Our opening prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you that although we weren't at the stable like the shepherds, we can experience new birth in our lives. Though we weren't able to see you healing the sick, we can still be made whole by your touch. Though we never saw you suffering on the cross, nonetheless, you died for us. Though we were not there in the garden as you rose again, we can meet you as our risen Lord and Saviour. For the awesome truth that we can know you as meaningfully today as any of those who witnessed your earthly ministry, we give you our worship. Amen. John chapter 8 Then they all went home, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At dawn he appeared again in the temple courts where all the people gathered round him, and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now, what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away, one at a time. The older ones first, until only Jesus was left, with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. Psalm 76 God is renowned in Judah, 
In Israel his name is great. His tent is in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shields and the swords, the weapons of war. You are radiant with light, more majestic than mountains rich with game. The valiant lie plundered. They sleep their last sleep. Not one of the warriors can lift his hands. At your rebuke, God of Jacob, both horse and chariot lie still. It is you alone who are to be feared. Who can stand before you when you are angry? From heaven you pronounced judgment, and the land feared and was quiet, when you, God, rose up to judge, to save all the afflicted of the land. Surely your wrath against mankind brings you praise, and the survivors of your wrath are restrained. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all the neighboring lands bring gifts to the one to be feared. He breaks the spirit of rulers. He is feared by the kings of the earth. Our closing prayer for today. Gracious God, we have enough and more than enough. But we know that there are many deprived of even the basic necessities of life. Those who go hungry while we eat our fill, who have nothing to drink or to wear, no place to call home, no access to medicine or hospital care, and no opportunity to improve their lot. Teach us not only to pray for them, but to respond to their plight by giving generously from our plenty. In Christ's name, we pray. Amen.